What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Ja'Kayla A. And today, I'm back with a very, very short, sweet, simple video. How I do a soak off. I have a video on how I did this set. It was about four weeks ago, if not longer. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was a fill-in, as you can see. Underneath is pink. So, it was a fill-in. And then we did a neutral on top with a little minimal bling. I'm just turning i turn my um client's hand around so i can see where the eponychium is so i can see how much their real natural nail has grown out this particular person wanted to keep the integrity of her natural nail and the length so i'm just cutting off as much as i can it's a time saver huge huge time saver so i'm gonna cut the nail down make sure you don't cut the client I'm going to cut off the bling, some of the bling that can't come off. I'm just going to go ahead and file it off with the e-file because the bling is um adhered with Zule Nail Adhesive. And sometimes the adhesive is just too strong and I cannot get the bling off. I'm using an extra coarse bit from Pana. I got it off of Amazon. Um, I think they have a website though. Because I know of some people buying some stuff from them and it wasn't on Amazon. So maybe they sell from a different website or maybe they have their own website. But really just any course, um, or really any course or extra course bit, I'm just using a safety. So it's like a carbide bit, but it has a round top. I highly, highly recommend that in general, but especially for something that is coarse or extra coarse. But anyway... I'm turning, you can kind of see like the speed that the e-file is on. It's not even all the way in the middle. It's still kind of like lower than all the way in the middle. And this particular e-file came from a cart and it does not have numbers on it. So I can't even tell you what the RPMs is. I cannot even tell you what the, um, yeah, I can't tell you what the reps per minute even is, but you can kind of see that it's like less than half. So... I'm just filing down the acrylic as low as it can go. This is a huge time saver in a soak off. Um, this particular client really likes her nails to be thick. She always hitting them and stubbing them on her car, on in her house, like whatever the case may be. She always is stubbing her hands. And so she, um, her, her nails, excuse me. So she requests that they be on the thick side every single time. So this soak off would have took forever if I did not get most of the acrylic off with the e-file. And that's literally just the point. That's like one half of doing a soak off is how thin are you able to get the acrylic down with the e-file or hand file. But baby, that would take even longer. Like that would probably take all day.
Okay, so we have our acrylic file down to our liking. Put acetone in the top part of the bowl. Make sure that it is 100% acetone, not nail polish remover. And the bottom part of the bowl holds the hot water. If it gets a little warm, open up this container. As you can see, it pops closed. So just unpop it and, and open it back up and put some more hot water in there and just keep going with that process. In about 10 minutes, you should see acrylic flaking away, something like this. It should not be sticky. That is MMA. You should be using EMA. It should not be sticky. It should be flaking away. And you can see me using a cuticle pusher. That's what I choose to use. And the acrylic is melting right away. If it doesn't all come off in a one layer, put the finger right back into that acetone for 15 more minutes. And then it will melt away again. And you can use a cuticle pusher and rub it right on off. If it doesn't come off in that layer, then put it right back. And you might have to do this three or four rounds. But a soak off should take about 40 minutes. And that is the end result. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.